All right, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to quickly demonstrate this um, little project I've been working on for the past couple hours here. Um, I'm calling it a Valmorpher, but I don't really have a name for it. Um, what it does is you can take any waveform, any waveform at all except for um, sine waves, and put it behind this effect rack, and then get from it either a ya, yeah, ya, yeah, or a yo sound. Or you can play around with this little performer thing that I've set up. We'll get into that um, a little more in a minute. Uh, and then, of course, I have a low pass, just to accent um, kind of the talking that you'll probably be using this thing for. Um, the exception uh, to any waveform being put behind here, of course, is the sine wave, because uh, sine waves don't have overtones, and you're working with formants here. So you need overtones for that. Um, but other than that, you can put any sound behind here, and you can get these vowel sounds out of it. So to demonstrate that, uh, we'll just take an instance of Massive, and I'll just use my uh, basic preset, just a saw wave here. Sounds like that. Um, okay, so there's two things I need to mention about this effect rack real quick before we get into it. Um, the first thing is, the way you turn the effect on is by having one of these four variables here. This one, this one, this one, or this one, above one. Um, because seven of these are instances of EQs, um, you, you can't have all of them on at the same time. It'll just create a really horrible sound. So you want to turn one of these above one uh, all the time. Turning one of these three above one doesn't actually do anything because they're dependent on this one being on for them to even do anything. So um, generally you could just stick with turning this one on. Uh, it doesn't really make any difference. These all four of them start at the same place. Um, and you'll see why that's important when I uh, run through these real quickly to demonstrate them. Um, so but with this on, that's your sound right there. Um, and I guess we'll just go through these real quick. And then this is just, you know, a basic low pass. Um, so I said there are two things, and I only mentioned one. Uh, the other thing is that um, once you load a sound behind this effect rack, you're going to want to tune uh, the formants and even probably the low pass as well, because this isn't nearly as much as you can get out of the vowel sounds, but it's a really good place to start from, uh, which is the purpose of this um, uh, effect rack anyhow. Uh, so the next thing is this little four knob performer and I don't have a MIDI controller plugged in so it won't uh, work quite as well as it could um, but I'll just run through this and show you what it does anyhow um, again you need to start with a parameter above one uh, but other than that this thing is really cool it takes the sound um, from the previous knob and just morphs straight through um, four knobs here uh, that took me a really long time to set up, um, and it seems kind of subliminal now, but um, I'm still pretty excited about it. thing that's really cool about this little performer is it works in a loop. So um, the sound that you end with here is the same sound that you'll start with when this parameter here is at 1. Uh, come on you little bastard. See? So there's at 1 and there's with it full. So it works in a loop if you wanted to set it up in arrangement. You know, you could just run through the parameters and then do it again um, 
just starting all over again, and it did sound like a perfect loop. Um, so that's kind of cool. Anyhow, um, that is the effect rack right there. Uh, it works with any sound. That was just a basic preset that I start out with for most of my synthesis. Um, but anything works behind that. Uh, you put a real nice growl behind it. You can get some pretty, pretty awesome sounds. Um, if you want to know more about how I did this, you know, leave me a comment, uh, like the video, whatever. Um, tell me if you want to see more videos, uh, how I did this type of stuff and whatnot. And I will start making those. So, peace out, folks.